In this tutorial, we are going to discuss different model fit statistics. There are many stuff when it comes to checking that a model is a good fit or not, like R square, adjusted R square, Akai K information, Swartz criteria. We are going to understand a bit on what are these terms, how it differs from each other, and when to choose which statistics. Also, please understand we are not going to have too many mathematical derivations here. Rather, we are going to understand equations very well in in terms of how it gets affected by different independent variables. So, let's first discuss what is R square. R square is a model fit statistics and it is given by explained sum of square by total sum of square or 1 minus residual sum of square by total sum of square. As you keep adding more and more variable, RSS will either reduce or at max remain same. So by definition, when this is going to reduce, the R square is going to be bigger and bigger or remain, let's say, fi uh, fixed, but it's never going to reduce when you are going to add more and more variables. So, in general, R square increases, the, the increase becomes asymptotic. So, essentially, it doesn't increase so much, it becomes asymptotic in nature, but it, increase, it increases when you add variables. So, independent variables. So, how do you know where to stop? There, are, there can be multiple ways, like you can actually stop when R square is not increasing significantly by looking at R square value. But there is a scientific way which essentially, see just understand R square a by definition is going to increase when you are adding more and more independent variables. Whereas adjusted R square, you know it puts a penalty for number of independent variables. So what does it mean? In fact adjusted R square can also reduce with additional with addition of extra variable independent variable, if that variable is not reducing RSS further significantly. So, if RSS has not reduced significantly by addition of extra variable, adjusted R square actually may not increase. So, the formula of adjusted R square is given by this. So, essentially what you see here, it is putting n minus k term at the denominator. So, essentially the more you keep adding, the n minus k value keeps becoming smaller and essentially this whole term is getting bigger and when you are minusing it, obviously you are increasing this, this, this whole multiplication. So, adjusted r square keeps going down. I hope you understand that n minus k will, let's say n is 70 and let's say k is 10, you are dividing by 60. And when let's say k is 20 and minus k, it becomes 50. So you're dividing by just 50. So obviously this number will be bigger when k is 50. So this particular one minus this term will become smaller. So adjusted r square will always be smaller than r at max equal to r square. Please note r square and adjusted r square higher the value you assume a greater fit. AIC and Schwartz criteria actually works other way. A smaller value of AIC or Schwartz criteria helps you. So AIC, formula of AIC is given by e to the power 2k by n and R into RSS by n. Now, keep in mind, if you take log, this is the equation that you get. Now, in this equation, what you can understand very well, with addition of each extra independent variable, you are adding a term 2 by n. So essentially when you are adding each additional variable, let's say when it is 1, you know it is 2 by n. When it is 2, it is 4 by n. So essentially 2 by n has got added to this whole thing. So unless if RSS reduces significantly, this whole term can actually go up with addition of extra independent variable. So in so lower AIC indicates a better fit. Now just understand whatever penalty it was putting for extra addition of variable, it is putting more than that. 
because you know it here straight forward two by n you are adding for each independent variable now take the schwarz criteria schwarz criteria is given by this or log schwarz criteria will be given by this now if you see with for each additional variable you are actually adding ln n by n now keep in mind ln n by n is definitely bigger than 2 by n so that's how schwarz criteria puts harsher penalty than aic for additional independent variable and as i explained you earlier that 2 by n is bigger than the equation that you get for adjusted r square penalty term so aic is harsher than adjusted r square for additional independent variable so adjusted for a uh, uh, adjusted r square is harsher than r square for independent extra addition of independent variables aic is harsher than adjusted r square and a schwarz criteria is even harsher than aic so if your requirement is to have with minimum possible value you need to explain as much as possible and you are really sincerely want to have a variable with as many as less uh, as smaller number of variable as possible there may be cost of using that or whatever then you should go by schwarz criteria however if you can afford little more variable and aic goes um reduces further you can may think of aic if uh, you are not necessarily really really uh, want with minimum variable but you are ready to compromise on little bit on addition of extra variable if it really uh, adds little more, more value as uh, then you may go for aic so in in a nutshell if your requirement is to go for as mean as less number of variable as possible even if and you are ready to compromise a bit on explanation power of the model schwarz criteria is the best however if you want little more explanation power and you are little bit ready to compromise with uh, some ek one or two extra variables you may think of going for aic thank you